All right, there's not a fruitcake or some Christmas candy in this tent. It's actually a Mezco Punisher preview exclusives. I'm not real sure how it's an exclusive if you can buy it anywhere. And I just bought a Mezco Punisher. And he's actually a really good toy. And when all this shit came up on pre-order, when I went to Comic-Con last year and I saw that they were making three Punishers, I was like, okay, control yourself. You don't need three, just pick one and go with it. Well, that isn't the case. This is my second one, and I think I got a third one on the way. So let's check out this Punisher. Okay, we finally got all that stuff out of the package. And for scale, you see it's like about six, uh, almost six and a quarter inches tall. Let's go over some of the stuff that he comes with. Comes with the same <clears throat> stand that he's been coming with, which I like. And the skull is actually different from another one, but I'll show you that in a minute. All these guns, we'll go over this. Every gun comes with a clip, except for that revolver, of course. Um, rocket launcher some plastic explosives he also comes with two other vest options we'll go into all that later the heads uh same heads that you already got same uh grenade launcher you already got all the hands are the same the most amazing shotgun i think i've ever seen in my life another rifle which you already have and a sniper gun Okay, so this is how he comes out of the package. He has this belt. It rides a little high. Like all this is one piece, his shirt and his pants. Has that weird seam there. It'd be nice if they could actually like sew in like, like a fly, like jeans. Like if you can do a pocket, I don't know why you couldn't do like a little flap there with like a fake button instead of like those grandpa pants that he's wearing. Um, and that belt kind of, that's just kind of where it goes. It just sits there. And we're going to probably take that off because this is the same belt that they gave us with Commander Rogers. So it's definitely a reuse. So I already got one of these belts on display. So I definitely don't need another one. Another little cool thing is that he has real pockets. Like you can actually put like a clip or a banana, chapstick, car keys, you know, like whatever you want into his pocket. So that's cool that they that they even did a pocket. I don't know why you do a pocket and not do like a, you know, that little flap that jeans have. I think that'd be a nice, cool touch. The same boots are the boots that you got on Commander Rogers and on the other Punisher and probably even on the next Punisher, but I'm not real sure. I'd have to look into that. So here he is with this Jersey Boy t-shirt on. Let's see what else he can do. All right, so <clears throat> figured I'd show you this. I got the belt off of him. There's actually um, a little clip like right here behind the knife and it feels like it's gonna break, but it didn't. And then there's like a little button back here and so it clips right into there. And then it's got other holes in the belt like right here for other options so you can probably do something cool with it. I think I'm gonna try to do a little uh, customize on that horrible Commander Rogers I have because he needs all the help that he can get. So I'm going to try to put this thing on him, even though I'm not going to keep it on him. I just want to put it on there once so I can see what it looks like. Because this is kind of the setup that's going to come with the classic one. So I'm going to kind of wait and save it for that. But then also it has the same little clip right here. And then you see the, the, the gun will unclip here. And then it can also unclip inside here. So that's really cool options. Like you definitely for the play value of this thing, like... You can mess around with this thing for hours to try to get it the way that you want it. All right, so here's option number two. I went ahead and put this vest on him, which I really like. That's like kind of like my favorite option. He has a, a holster underneath the arm here that the revolver fits in. And it this stuff fits really tight. I was going to do it on camera, but it, it literally took me like 15 minutes just to get this thing on here. So that's why i didn't so that thing really fits in there tight while well, we got the revolver this thing does spin right here that's that's all it does i'm trying to get my fat thumb out of the way if you can actually see it i guess i can't but that spins the revolver is awesome 
looks really nice has a hole in there for you can kind of put that bullet in there if you want that you know the one that shoots out the same one that you got before one of the coolest accessories of all time let me try to get it to focus so we got that again also and then down here um, the pistol it's really hard to get that little button in there when the pistols in there and then the slide on the gun it actually kind of you got to be careful with that so this comes out of here this is the same pistol that you got before and this I missed this on the last time but this thing actually slides back like that so definitely a cool option there I'm gonna probably go ahead and give this to my commander Roger try to dress him up a little bit I might even throw this vest on him because that thing needs all the help that he can get I went ahead and put the night vision on him too changed out his hands really cool option but I think I'm gonna save this for the next one all right so I went ahead and put the Thunderbolt vest on him this is basically the same exact vest that you got on the other one the one behind it which is an option that I definitely like it's red this time not a big change the belt it also you know pull it right here right next to the knife you unpull it here then it has a little hole there another cool thing there's an extra hole right underneath this pallet so you can also put the leg holster on this one but it's kind of brown so it doesn't really match so I'm just gonna go ahead and save that for the classic Punisher anyway I went ahead and put the beat up head on them you know I was gonna try to do this shit on camera for you for you guys could laugh and have a good time with it but it, it literally takes about 15 minutes just to put one of these vests on so that would have just been kind of ridiculous to make an hour video over this so here he is with the red vest that's uh I'm just gonna go ahead and put that uh that uh, trench coat on him off camera okay so I got this trench coat on him it does fit over the bulletproof vest um, went ahead and put the knife back here in the back um, the belt has this like little bit of wire in it which works really well it'd be cool if they kind of put it in this too like I don't know why they can put it in a belt like there's actually I guess there's one piece of wire in there but if you can put wire in a belt why can't you put wire in a cape I know like half the people are out there wiring the cape and half the people are out there no wire in the cape so here's an idea every other cape figure do wire in the cape because this to me would be way better than that stupid octopus thing that you include in the package but here he is I mean he's 130 bucks I, I, I can't find anything wrong with this figure like this is pretty much a perfect toy like the jacket's cool the seam on the back actually finally looks good because it looks like a leather jacket I thought the leather jacket looked really cheap and it was sitting there in the package but after you put this thing on them man it's just uh it, it's really nice it's a little short in the arms but it just seems like it's only short on this one arm for some reason I tried to mess with it and then uh I don't know that's about as good as I could do so here he is let's go over some of these accessories okay so first off we got his sniper rifle it's really cool it comes with this little tripod on it this thing's like real flimsy be careful with that the bullet the, the, it won't fit in the end of it <clears throat> it's just kind of a big like a silencer tip the scope on it's pretty cool and then it also has this little peg here that could, that's kind of where it could set up but tons of paint detail really nice gun the clip comes out all the guns the clip comes out and there's a bullet in all of them and the bullets different so that's kind of like a a long range sniper rifle bullet and it also comes with two clips I'm not going to show you the other clip because it's exactly the same as this clip sorry about the dog barking in the background he also comes with this rifle I'm pretty sure this is the same rifle that we got last time definitely cool the clip comes out same thing bullet hole in there so you can put that little bullet in the tip this might be my favorite gun that he comes with a shotgun with the shells on the side I mean they were doing this toy biz even if I can get him out no it didn't happen but toy bit made an attempt at this back in the day um, I mean for toy biz $20 toy I actually think they did a pretty decent job on this whole entire action figure let me get my thumb off of his face so there's their version of it the mesco version is definitely better the mesco version is um 130 
that thing was in a con exclusive five pack so that thing might be harder to get than this mezco one let me get my punisher out of the way and then the same grenade launcher that it came with last time does the same thing this thing flips up it also turns this thing comes out their grenades they fit just in case you didn't see my other review i guess i'll show you this thing slides off and then these the grenades actually go in these little holes so it doesn't really get any cooler than that it's the second time we got it but hey it's still really cool then he also comes with another pump shotgun which i mean why would you use this one when you got the other one it's cool if you're gonna give me another shotgun give me like one with like a barrel on it something like that It'd be nice if they did like that bullet effect here with like a slug coming out or some buckshot coming out i mean they give you a ton of stuff with this so i'm not really complaining there that just would have been a nice little touch comes with this pack of explosives with this army green nice texture a detail is is it's perfect like and then it comes with the i'm i'm guessing this is the detonator to detonate that thing um that trigger like you think that it would move but it doesn't so don't really try any harder than i did it you know what happens and then it does come with an uzi this time really nice once again the clip comes out little bullet inside comes with two clips all the guns come with two clips and then the same gun that it came with last time and i mean it's it's gun perfection same deal here tiny little bullet in there you can put that back in and then he also comes with his uh rpg like this thing is amazing but there's no there's no missile for this like if you're going to do that blast effect this would definitely be like an area where I would want that blast effect. But the color on this, the detail on this, everything's perfect. I, man, I'm, I'm kind of torn. I don't know how to display this. I, like, I love the sniper rifle. I really like this. And I definitely like this shotgun with the shells on it. So it's like, I'm only going to set him up and display him one time. It's not like I'm going to come home from work and like go, hey, I'm going to redo my punisher figure that, that's just not going to happen so i'm going to try to pick my best options i'll put them together and show you what i come like came up with okay so this is how i'm going to display them this is like kind of my final answer i figure i paid for all these weapons so i'm going to display them with all these weapons he also comes with this uh this um what do you call that it's not a backpack duffel bag and then it has a real zipper on it. The zipper actually works. And then it has a little Velcro strap on it. You kind of see it there. I put all of his guns in there. Loaded it up. Went ahead and put a sniper rifle down there with the stand. Be real careful with that tripod tripod, because it wants to break off. So just, it's like really delicate. Went ahead and threw the RPG on his shoulder. And you got to display that shotgun. So pulled out a jigsaw. So you can kind of compare them next to that. Looks pretty cool. They'll probably never make us one. I hope that they do. And then with the extra parts, I went ahead and hooked up my Commander Rogers. I put that vest on him. Got a uh, pistol with a bullet coming out in his hand. I went ahead and put the revolver on the side. That that uh that also unclips if you don't want to do it, but I figured why not. And then put the leg holster on him. So now he's kind of hooked up. I don't hate him as much as I used to. Um, there he is. Let me show you the collection. All right, so here's the Mezco collection. It's really building fast. So hopefully they're going to chill out for a minute, let the wallets rebuild. It's coming along really nice. Man, you put all these things together, and it, it just it looks amazing. Didn't have the pajama problem with this Punisher at all. It looks amazing. If you're only going to get one, definitely pass on that first one. Um... I mean, if you only get one, I, I would get that classic one. If you weren't fortunate enough to get one of those, then go ahead and spend the extra money. This, this thing, you got tons of options. I, I would probably get that. That thing looks really nice on the shelf. And then here's the Daredevils over here. That's the Mezco collection. And always, thanks for watching.